In pro wrestling, there is this overused saying called being buried. Essentially, it's when a wrestler is beat in such a way it just feels like the promotion has lost all faith in that talent and absolutely destroyed their credibility. Essentially, doing that wrestler dirty with some horrible booking. And I was wondering, are there any characters that have been absolutely been done dirty in duels? Yes, yes there are. This is going to be a rough one to get through, and heck, this is probably not the first time I'm going to do a vid like this, because let's be honest, I'm sure there are plenty of duels that absolutely did one of the participating duelists so incredibly dirty that it hurt their credibility for the rest of the series. You know what? I should do a sort of progression for this list from maybe least offensive example of a duelist done dirty to the most offensive, but no, I'm doing this one right freaking now. This is the worst offense to me, so I'm just getting this out of the way. The duelist in question is Aoi slash Blue Angel slash Blue Girl slash Blue Maiden. You know who I'm talking about. That should not be a social surprise to anyone, and the duel in question is also not a surprise. It's no mystery that I absolutely hate the way they treated Aoi throughout Reigns, but the duel against Spectre has to be the absolute worst duel she has ever had. The duel where she was done dirty, and trust me, that is saying something considering in her duels against Playmaker and Soul Burner, they so happen to have cards that block effect damage that they happen to draw against her, but never use again throughout the series. Yes, this is worse than her losing to those random specific counters. Spectre humiliated Aoi for three episodes. He insulted her in the very story she treasured. He outplayed the best combo her deck can perform. Multiple reincarnations like Chorus on the field would be enough to make any duelist scoop in a real life game during that time. But no, he survived and had way more life points than when he started with beat her in the game and dropped her on her head and laughed over her fallen body. This probably would have been okay if this was probably their first duel and Aoi can get her revenge for this horrible treatment later on, but no. Not to mention, Spectre is also the one that affected her with the virus that put her in a coma, so there was absolutely no come up for Spectre by Aoi. He completely victimized her and she never settled the score. And you know what? It gets even worse because Playmaker duel Spectre and beats him twice in one duel. You see, Spectre cheated by holding Akira captive so Playmaker could not deliver the finishing blow, but the duel continued and Playmaker was able to beat Spectre since Akira sacrificed himself so Playmaker could not worry about him and go all out against Spectre. Yes, Playmaker beat Spectre twice and Aoi could not even come close to beating him even once with doing the best that her deck can possibly do. Way to make her look like a total incompetent weakling. Heck, this is a twofer because Spectre looked like a little bitch by getting beat by Playmaker twice in the same duel. This is embarrassing. Spectre looks weak. Aoi looks absolutely terrible. They truly did Aoi dirty the whole series, and it is a shame, but her duel against Spectre and the aftermath against Playmaker definitely takes the cake. Alright, next is another absolutely painful one. Have you ever seen those Fortnite or Call of Duty gameplay where one player is cheating with aim assist and wall hacks and they still lose? It's like you had all the cheating advantage and still lost. That is essentially Selena versus Yugo. Now, she was not the one cheating. Jean was the one cheating on her behalf to allow her to get all the action cards. The duel is still in her favor though, and she still lost. I don't get why Yugo couldn't just beat her without all the cheating, well, you know, all the cheating that was done for Selena, because it makes her look terrible, or heck, have her just win. It would have been perfectly excusable to have her win, but it's not like Yugo was in the next round anyway, so he didn't even need to win that duel. All this did was make Selena look weak. She summoned her best monster, had someone cheat for her, and she still lost, and yes, I know she could have won if she got the last action card, but at best she would have had that asterisk win, which is still preferable, and yes, I know this is a duel about teaching Serena about fun and luck. Regardless, it still made her feel subpar skill-wise, considering that she still lost despite all the unfair advantage she had throughout the majority of the duel. I would have preferred an alternative way to teach Serena about the use of luck in duels and having fun aside from this particular way. Plus, next time we see her, she's mind controlled and not even using her own deck, so we never even get to see her apply these lessons she's learned in this duel anyway. 
You know what? Heck, let's stick with Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. Yuri versus Alexis. Alexis was done dirty. I hate this duel. I hate this duel. I hate this duel. Why even bring back Alexis? GX fans are not going to love that she was beaten by Yuri using the Ancient Gear Structure deck. Listen, if he won this duel using Predator Pants, then fair. But the Ancient Gear Structure deck, seriously? That was horrible for Alexis. She's a pretty iconic character brought back to the anime after over a decade and the villain sees her as such a trash character that he can't even use his own deck and uses a school issue deck to beat her. We didn't need to see this to know that Yuri's strong. We already knew that Yuri was strong. This only hurt Alexis as a character and honestly if they wanted to promote the cards from the new Ancient Deer structure deck, there's literally a whole army that uses this archetype. This was so unnecessary and Lex Alexis was done completely dirty. This was such a disappointment. Like I said, if she lost to you using his Predator Plant deck, then fine. But the Ancient Gear structure deck, there is a reason why this episode absolutely bombed. All right, Arc 5, you dirty pig of a series. You got another one for me and another duel with Yuri at that. Yes, Yuri in a 1v3 against Aster, Kaito, and Yugo. Seeing such a badass like Kaido from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zeal losing in a 1v3 was ugly. I know he's not Zeal Kaido, but goodness, it still stunk. And Aster? Seriously, Arc 5 gave zero craps about Aster. The guy didn't win a single duel throughout the whole series. He lost in a flashback to Yusho. He tied against Yudo. Lost against Yuya. And now there's this duel. Seriously, what did the Arc 5 team have against GX characters to treat them so terribly? Yuri beating Yugo and absorbing him is completely okay, but goodness, Kaido and Astro losing as well at the same as that time? This series did these legends absolutely dirty in this duel. You know what? Speaking of Arc 5 and Legends being done dirty. Now this one isn't a duel, but I'm still gonna mention it anyway. And I'm speaking about Crow getting carded by Battle Beast. I don't even want to entertain this, but seriously, this is how Crow gets carded by this absolute rando. Would it have hurt to establish Battle Beast as a powerful duelist in the Xyz dimension or even have him come with the Obelisk Force in the Synchro dimension so that we know that during this evasion we can understand that this is a big deal character and Crow being carded by him would be, you know, okay because at least we understand that this is a really powerful character they've established. Yes, I know this only happened because Crow was saving Saratari, but seriously, this is how he gets written off, just beaten by this rando character that feels like they just made up on the spot just to get Gladiator Beast in the anime. Next Next up is Rovian and particularly in her duel against Udius. I watched this thinking why? Why does Udius need the handicap of not having full access to his monster zones and only having access to two of the three accessible? They could have just made this a straightforward duel where Udius wins, but no. Despite this situation, Rovian still loses even with this full advantage. And yes, I know Udius' dual disc was fixed on the last turn, but the fact that he even survived to eventually beat her despite this major handicap in this duel does no favors for Rovian. One minute she is winning against the twins in a 2v1, then the next she came and beat a guy who can't even play with a full dual field. This did no favors for her as a duelist, and in all honesty, despite being an end of arc boss, she she loses very, very often. I like Rovian, but they really went out of their way to make her a far cry from her severed counterpart, Romine. But the series is not over yet, so there's still plenty of time for her to get wins and rehab her character. But yeah, that duel against Yuyus really, really didn't help her credibility, especially after she started off so strong. This was just a horrible way to end her arc. Okay, I'm just gonna do one more for this video, and this one is not a duelist, but a whole team. That is right, Team Yu. Unicorn was done dirty in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5 Ds. I don't know how the script for this duel even got approved. Team Unicorn is all about the team. Andor is incredibly powerful, so he is meant to bring down the opponents to their final duelist. Breo follows up with a mill strategy against the final duelist, and Jean plays defensively to close out the duel against the opponent that will eventually deck out. It is the team strategy, but in a moment of absolute stupidity, Jean abandons the strategy to go on the attack against Yusei and loses. Jean had the match won. All he had to do was end his turn. I watched that ending thinking this was so incredibly stupid. Why go through all the planning to make sure that all three decks work to create this very conclusion 
just to throw it away at the end. Honestly, Yusei should have just had a card that added a card to the top of his deck and give him another turn to go on the offensive and win. But Jean just throwing away the match his team worked so hard to win was just dumb. All of Team Unicorn was done dirty by this duel, and it was so unnecessary to make them lose in the dumbest way possible. I cannot understand and fathom this duel even till this day many, many years later. Absolutely ridiculous. And listen, I just want to address this because I know there's going to be a 5Ds enthusiast out there that's going to want to defend the absolute stupidity of Gene and Team Unicorn even supporting what Gene did at the end. So let me break down why this makes no sense. One, it's absolutely selfish. Everything Gene did was supposed to be for the team. That's completely how all the deaths were constructed so they can lead to this one moment. This was supposed to be all for a team victory via deck out and everything worked perfectly until he threw it away. Two, he wanted to actually defeat Yusei. Well, guess what? Defeating Yusei actually means decking him out as well. I don't know if Gene knows this, but decking out an opponent is a legit way of winning. And in his mind, if he thinks defeating Yusei actually means bringing his life points down to zero, well, guess what? It doesn't really matter because it wouldn't be his win anyway. It will be his team's win. The whole reason that Yusei was in the predicament he was in was because he dueled against two other guys before Gene. So why does Gene now all of a sudden have this battling spirit and pride and want to finish off Yusei? by reducing his life points not to zero, even though he let two guys beat him down before that. And lastly, some people might say, well, Gene attacked because he probably thought Yusei was bluffing. And bluffing about what? He had a card that was going to put a card on top of his deck? That would be kind of unlikely. But you know what would be really, really likely? A card that reacts to him attacking. Yeah, because the majority of trap cards in the game will actually react to something like that and not just putting a random card on top of your deck. Ending his turn was always the right move, even if he thought Yusei had a bluff because the chances of Yusei having something that can react to Jean's attack was way higher than him having something that could have put something on top of his deck so that way he could be able to draw something into the next turn. Regardless, everything he did in that final turn was unjustifiable, period. That team was done dirty by absolutely stupid writing. Period. All right, that's all I got for right now, but trust me, I'm probably gonna be doing another video because there's probably so many instances where duelists were done absolutely dirty in the series, and there's no way it's gonna be able to end with just these seven instances that I brought up. I'm definitely gonna go and try to do more videos like this, go back, think about duels, and where I was like, wait a minute, that was absolutely ridiculous. How did they do that character so dirty? But you know what? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section, see your guys' opinions about what I I said in this video and maybe even bring up your own instances in which duelists were done dirty and maybe i will even add that to the next video as well so until next time people that's all i got for you please like comment subscribe do all the things that keep the channel alive and peace out